And he asks, who will be the first to build performance tunes for the 325s? Who will be the first to manufacture supercharger wheels for the 325? What's your best guess? Well, I can tell you that the Monday after the hydro drags, I took FISO's 325 apart and I took uh-huh. the wheel off. So we took it apart and the wheels are make, are getting made as we speak. Okay, we'll, you've already I'll, found yeah, something I will to be add to that wheel. Testing, yeah, I will be testing those wheels pretty soon. The first right. thing we're going to have is a dropping wheel. Okay. And it's it surprised us a little bit. Um, it's totally different than the Yamaha wheel. Oh, it, it's totally different. It's very everything. aggressive. It's a very yeah. aggressive wheel. So it's kind of wearing at the same time because being so aggressive, maybe it won't have the same result of the Yamaha that they they just love RPMs. Okay. I, I have a feeling that the wheel from the from the Sidu is more of a low RPM wheel. It's a high volume, low RPM. Right. But so then they're also saying it spins 100,000 RPM, the wheel itself. No, I know. But then it, it spins that. But as you 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 run your RPMs high on your motor, you expect right. it to just keep going like the Yamaha. Right. So yeah. we are doing, Face was doing like a whole bunch of different wheels. And, and we all going to test them out and okay. we go from there. And the best one is the ones you guys going to get. Right. Uh, as far as performance tunes, I think it's important that we kind of delineate the difference between, say, a map tuner that has a pre-programmed tune that you just plug in and go, boop, okay, here you go, yeah. versus, say, you have a fuel tech ECU, standalone ECU, right. or a MoTeC ECU, and having a true engine tuner getting in there with a combination and going, yeah. okay, try it now. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna lean it out a little bit here, or we're gonna add a little bit of timing here, or a little bit of extra fuel yeah. here, because fuel tech doesn't offer that kind of programming that Riva does. It's very different. Completely different. Totally For different. the money, if you're spending money. And you're spending a decent amount of money, and you want to go fast. Fuel tech, hands down. Um, I don't oh, think yeah. Motor makes uh, any anything for the 325. I think it's no, just no. I don't think they're there yet. But, no, I mean no. all it takes is a harness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But fuel tech, you can just buy it, and you right. have it. And it's there. Um, yeah, it's as far as we'll see. We'll see. Riva says they have some news. Coming up, that it's it's just going to be it's it's going to unlock, it's going to be a scam. Yeah, yeah. It's, and and don't get me wrong, a scam for eighty percent of people is going to be plenty because it's going to go 83, 84. Yeah, yeah. And maybe you throw an air intake kit and yeah, an impeller, you know, yeah. and and maybe you're getting 85, 86 yeah. before. You know, you start running into the rev limiter. Yeah, I heard. Um, I know for experience. You know, talking to other people, um, like Chris Caputo Jr. Um, he was involved in in the the jet ski that Matt did from Talk Racing, all that. Uh-huh. And they did something different, and they did unlock it. So, but you know, it's it's. That's the line code. They're going through buds, and it's, they can over it, they can override the two lines of code. It's complicated. <laughs> it's complicated. Yeah, but there I, he's not. The nice thing is, and I'm happy that he's not doing this because that was the big thing. Um, who who's the who who are the guys who quote unquote cracked open the ECU on the Maverick? Um, Evo. Mm-hmm. Um, Evo literally cracks open the case and pulls the processor out and solders right. a new one in. You're like, right. oh, okay, right. Um, and not everybody wants to do that. You no, know? no, that's that's really drastic. Ruthless yeah. is going in and saying, you send in your ECU, we'll remove those lines of code. Yeah, 
and you're good to go. And now there's no speed limiter. Oh, okay, great. Right. You know, and, and he's going 83 and he's, you know, he's got real results and people are happy with him. Yeah. So, yeah. oh yeah. Okay. So Nick, so just you said have options, you know, either yeah, you, you can choose, go with them. You can choose, you know, the Reba, um, right. You know, it's, it's, and it's good. Competition right. is what makes everything better. Uh, precisely. But I think what, what Jet Rider is asking is high level, you know, because of because of the O2 sensor and Lambda readings and everything that's now available on the new 325, now you're opening up a whole different world. It's it's right. not just, hey, I'm gonna take my map tuner, plug it in and go boop, boop, boop. Right. And, you know, 10 minutes later, I can go ride. It, you know, and I know Jesus Garcia made me a good tune. <laughs> it's it, it's a different it's it's a totally different animal. Yeah, um, that's but you know that's what makes it different. Like some people are perfectly happy with with a tune from Riva, um, right? And they're happy. It does what it does for them. Perfect. I started with tune from Riva, and then I say I want a little more, and I want a little more, and that and that's what got me where I'm today. So if that's your thing, great. If you want to go farther and you want the 325 to go 90, 90, 96 mile per hour, you might have to go with the fuel tech. I agree. Yeah, I agree. Everything that yeah. everything it, it's funny because I, I I always get accused of who wrote you a check or who <laughs> who's telling you, you know, who who's paying yeah. Kevin to say something. Yeah, I know. You know, yeah. uh, I bring you on, and everyone's like, "Oh, it looks like Ernesto paid Kevin." And I'm like, "Yeah, yeah." <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for hanging out. This clip was taken from our weekly podcast that we record here every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to watch the whole video, you can go to the Watercraft Journal's YouTube channel, go to playlists, and then click on Live Sessions. You're going to see it there. Otherwise, go ahead and leave a like a comment, and definitely subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow. And again, thanks again for watching our videos, and we hope to see you soon.